Good morning, folks. So, this is the review of Conqueror's Blade. So, I have been playing Conqueror's Blade now for the last couple of months. Yes, full disclosure, I am part of the content creation team. However, this review is my honest and genuine belief of the game and an honest and genuine review of the game in its current state at the minute. So, First off, Conqueror's Blade is a game which mixes strategy elements from things like Mountain Blade with real battles and fast battles like Dynasty Warriors, all kind of combined into one. Now you've got field battles, you've got siege battles, all taking place on different maps. You also have PvE battles taking part on even more maps. Plus as well you have the Guild Wars or the Territory Wars which are known in the game which places you and your house or your guild against other houses and other guilds that are not in your alliance or that you are not friendly with so you can take over different fiefs which are different areas of the world map so that is the game in a nutshell now a full review of the game i have to say what i'm going to do is i'm going to break it down into separate parts so you've got the graphics you've got the gameplay you've got the replayability and then you'll have a summary right at the end summing everything up in one nice little package for you so starting off with the graphics are the graphics are nothing special to write home about yes they are very nice they do do the job they are better than a lot of games however for 2019 there's nothing to write home about in terms of the graphics now i play the game on high settings i have put out an ultra settings video of the game however i wouldn't say that the graphics have anything on th anything like the witcher or anything like that uh, out, don't get me wrong, the graphics are not bad, the textures are decent, there are things like god rays and other nice elements to the graphics like that as well, but I have to say there's nothing special from them. Now all the different units and everything, they do have different character models in each of the different units, so when you actually get a unit full of say archers, they don't all look the same, there are different character models which is a nice little touch. Um, all the weapons are very nicely designed, all the textures, like I said, the textures are good, but there's nothing special to write home about in terms of the graphics. Audio, now the audio is very good, they have done some music, they've put in some songs, which I'm going to be playing in the background of this video, which do kind of work really well with the game, they do give you that feeling of old school, medieval kind of battle gaming which is really good and it does kind of work very well with the game as overall so going into things like the gameplay engine and everything the game runs very very well it's very well optimized for the pc i haven't heard of anyone having a lot of difficulty in getting either this game to run or getting this game to run very well now i've not got the highest end of computing but i would say i've got a mid to high end range PC and my graphics do drop below 60 when there's a lot of units on the battlefield and I'm talking like a lot of units on the battlefield 100 plus units on the battlefield my graphics do drop however the frames do drop but the game does not become unplayable and it does pick itself up a little bit once you actually start moving out of uh, the initial starting bit of a match where everyone spawns in and you have a few less units on your screen then the frames do pick up a fair bit but like I said when they do drop it is not a significant drop and it's not a detrimental drop to the point where you're not going to be able to play and enjoy the game so when you're working through the game and everything you are leveling up your own hero and unlocking your own skills, your own weapons and everything through that, finding your own customizable play style, which is very nice touch because it kind of gives everyone a bit of an option of how to play their character a little bit differently, even if you are using the same weapon as your buddy, you can unlock different skills and you can run with different skills and be a little bit more versatile, a little bit more different in terms of battle than what your buddy is running, even if you've got the same weapon. Not only this, but you also have the entire unit tree to have a look through and unlock and then you've got to actually level up the units that you unlock as well, including 
customizing those up to your playstyle using the skills that you actually unlock through leveling and playing with all the different units as well. So if you want to focus more on archers then you can have more archers, if you want to focus more on cavalry or melee then vice versa you can focus more on that and you can build those characters exactly how you want to because they all come with their own separate skill trees as well. When you finish with units as well you can disband the units and you can put more better units in once you actually unlock them through the barracks. So at the minute once you hit about level 100, 120 and you still got a few units to unlock in the barracks, the game does unfortunately become a little bit stagnant at the minute. So you do have your daily quest, you have your weekly quest and you have your FIFA quest. If you are part of a house which owns a FIFA or two then you'll have a separate quest to actually unlock and build up your thief as well however the game does feel a little bit stagnant at the minute it is really crying out for something more to do in the game the daily battles are very uh, very samey samey you do have death matches unlock on some days and you also have iron man mode unlock as well however the it doesn't really give the game a huge amount of uh, variety at the minute. Now from what I've heard, future patches which should be coming up fairly soon are going to change that and they are going to put a lot more content into the game. But right now, if you are getting up into the higher levels of the game, like 100, 120 or even higher, the only thing that you really are playing for at the minute is unlocking uh, points to unlock better units and then leveling those up. But at the minute it's it's difficult one because it's it's really you're doing the same thing over and over and over again and i know with games like this they do become a bit of a crime fest at the end however the drop rate is not the best for things at the minute i don't know if it has actually been changed recently because i seem to be getting a few more things per every amount of battles but Still, the drop rate could be looked at a little bit better and actually things like the auction house can still be tidied up. There's still a few issues with the auction house and everything, but the daily battles, even though they are fun, I am starting to find even myself, I am really starting to struggle to actually be motivated and engaged enough to come on every single day and do my five daily battles and carry on leveling up my character like that. I'm really struggling at the minute because at the minute I'm just really waiting for the next and future content patches to come out to see actually how much content they are going to add into the game. I have heard it is a fair amount of content so I am hoping that they are going to be true. As soon as I know anything on that front of course I will be putting videos out about that. But at the minute, just the bottom line, the game is very, very fun, it's very good, it's very engaging until you get to the higher levels and then you just feel like you hit a massive grind fest and a bit of a wall to be honest. But even with a premium account, you, uh, you're you just grinding the same thing over and over again just to get a few more points to unlock a few more skills in your, uh, in your units and that's really it. You're not doing it for any certain items, you're not looking for any certain things or anything. I think if they put more weapons, more items and more crafting stuff in I think that will increase the amount of content a fair bit in the game more maps more versatile uh, more variety of battles everything like that as well that would increase a lot of content as well however we've got to remember the game has only been out for a couple of months in the west so the east version is a little bit ahead of us and that is what I'm basing my uh, my knowledge of future content patches on they do have a lot more to do in that game and I'm hoping that it's not going to be long that the west version is going to be catching them up however at the minute if you have not yet started playing or if you've started playing but you're quite low still in terms of level you will have fun with this game for the next couple of months definitely at least I've really enjoyed it the last few months a lot more so than I thought actually and actually for a game to pull me back in as much as Conqueror's Blade does and every single day I have played it, I'm starting to kind of feel a little bit less engaged now but every single day for the last couple of months I have played it and for a game to do that for me is actually very, very rare. So 
Bottom line, is the game good? Is the game worth picking up? Is the game worth a try at the minute? For sure. Conqueror's Blade at the minute is free to play. There is no need to get a premium account until you are the higher levels. Even then, you can still grind and get exactly the same rewards without a premium account. But I cover all that in a different video back on my channel. If you're interested in learning what the difference is between a premium account and just a free to play account, then go back and have a look at that video. However, should you be picking this up and giving it a go for sure definitely go and pick it up it's on steam it's on their own separate launcher as well so if you don't want to use steam you can go through their own thing it is definitely worth a go it's free to play you may find that actually once you get into it and if you enjoy games like mountain play dinosaur that kind of stuff in the past you will probably find that you will enjoy this game quite a bit but definitely give it a couple of days chance because it does take a little bit of getting used to getting used to the world map the thieves how it's all broken down the resource gathering the crafting everything like that it does take a little while to get into once you find your feet though with the game you will find that you will probably very much enjoy it, especially considering it is free to play and you are not at a detriment for going on a free to play account. The only difference between a premium account is you get a few more keys per weekly, bat, uh, weekly quest and you get a little bit of an increase in experience and bronze find after battles. But like I said, in the early parts of the game, that isn't going to benefit you or really matter much anyway. And you can always look at getting that later on down the line if you are enjoying the game. So in summary, the game is very good. It does lack a little bit of content at the moment, but hopefully that should be improved upon very soon in the next few future content patches, which should be releasing hopefully very soon. The game is free to play. You are not at a jet detriment of just playing on a free to play account so definitely jump on give it a go give all the weapons a go have a look at all the skill trees all the unit trees and everything and then build your character exactly how you want to build it and using the units that you want to and you'll find that you'll very quickly pick up the game it's quite an easy game to pick up it just seems a lot more to it than there actually is when you first look at it but all in all, should you be giving it a go, for sure. Definitely give it a go. Let me know in the comments below if you do give it a go and what your uh, first thoughts of it are. Thank you very much for watching this video review of Conqueror's Blade, folks. I hope it does help a few of you and convince a few of you into actually giving the game a go. I've convinced a couple of people I know and each one of them have said they've really enjoyed the game and they're actually playing it quite often. So I think that's quite a good sign. Any future stuff that comes up for the game and you're interested in please do hit the subscribe button hit the like button all the rest of it and you'll always be kept up to date with all the developments from conqueror's blade in the future thank you very much for watching folks i hope to see you all on the battlefields in conqueror's blade very very soon like i said any updates any news anything like that that i hear they will be made into videos and put straight onto the channel so definitely hit me up if you are keen on playing the game and getting into it and learning more about what's coming up as well thank you very much for watching folks I will catch you in the next one.